Right, here we go. Uh, namaste, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining uh, Hindi University. This is Ashutosh. As you know, we meet every Sunday at 9 a.m. U.S. Eastern. Um, for those of you who are joining, like new, uh, you know, uh, you can visit us at youtubecom university and you'll find uh, all the older videos, you know, on Hindi language. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, we have several courses, like you know, from beginners. Hindi 101 through Hindi 104. And uh, at the intermediate level also, we have Hindi 201 to Hindi 204. Um, additionally, we have um, Hindi writing uh, you know, classes as well. We've recorded those as well. Um, I would definitely recommend that you go sequentially, that when once you are interested in the learning the Hindi language, uh, I highly recommend that you go through a particular playlist first. Uh, the way I have structured the classes, they're pretty incremental, okay? And um, while you're going through these, you know, series, lecture series, feel free to join in our, you know, our weekly Sunday classes, basically, where we meet every Sunday and go over a particular topic. I try to keep these classes, uh, you know, so that, you know, it, it is catered towards each level. So even if you're a beginner, you will be able to, you know, get a lot of concepts. For intermediate and advanced also, we try to, again, we try to take a simple topic and make it complex, okay? Um, so, um, as always, like the way uh, the class is structured, in today's class also, uh, structured in four segments. Uh, in the first segment, we'll talk about conditional sentence in Hindi. Okay, that's the, the first segment of the class. In the second segment, we'll talk about Hindi vocabulary, uh, which is particular for uh, relevant for this particular class. Uh, in the third segment, which is very important, uh, storytelling. Right. So there will be a story of uh, a thief and John. And John is just a name I made it up. Okay. <laughs> and the fourth section is your part, where. Uh, after going through the three segment, you guys will understand the conditional sentence sentence in Hindi. You will learn a particular set of vocabulary. Uh, you will also go over the story, and then you have to kind of make some similar sentences, uh, and then tell me, you know, your understanding of the language. Okay. Um, so at any point, you know, uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, uh, even if there are any issues, you know, I'll be glad to take a pause and make sure that, uh, you know, I address your questions. Uh, okay, so just give me a thumbs up if the audio is coming okay on Facebook Live, just to make sure, you know, there are no technical issues. So uh, let's start with segment number one, which is conditional sentence in Hindi. Okay. So last week also we picked up a uh, part of it, right? In this class, we'll talk about like, you know, um, how we kind of uh, say the conditional sentences in Hindi, okay? Um, so it's basically what it means is like uh, one event is conditional on another event. So basically, if X happens, Y will happen. Don't worry, I'm not going to teach math mathematics here. <laughs> so X is an event and Y is also an event. So if this happens, this will happen as well. Okay, and what do I mean by that? Uh, we can look at some examples. So uh, examples are if it rains, if it rains, we will get wet. Okay. If this event happens, this will become true. Okay. Um, Similarly, if you work hard, you 
you will succeed okay uh, if this event happens this will happen most likely okay so that's what uh, conceptually uh, conceptually it's the same in hindi as well uh, however the key difference here is like in english as you can see these two sentences you know just give me one minute so i can make sure all of you are muted okay so in english the if you look at it the first sentence is written in present indefinite tense okay and the second one is is basically future indefinite So that's how it is structured in English. Uh, however, when you're saying uh, the same conditional sentences in Hindi, there is a slight change. Uh, for the most of the conditional sentences, you know, written in this manner, both of them will be. So this is in English. In Hindi, both of them will be in future indefinite. so similarly this one also will be in future indefinite and we'll go over the examples to make sure you know uh, you understand what i'm talking about okay uh, so let's take one hindi example to clarify this part <clears throat> so uh, Let's see the first example. If you study, you will pass the exam. Okay. So again, you can see this is written in English. It's written in um, present indefinite, and this in English it is written in future indefinite. Um, I know a lot of you are sort of intermediate and advanced, so I want to give you the opportunity. Now that you know, in Hindi, both of them will be in future indefinite. For those of you who are already ahead of me, why don't you take it as a quiz and tell me what the uh, you know uh, the Hindi translation would be? And just for for your reference, the sentence structure would be agar and then to. Okay, so first event and then second event, and in Devanagari it's agar and it's to. So now all that is left for you is you study, write it in future indefinite. You will pass, write it in future indefinite in Hindi. Okay. Very good, right? So, um, if you want to write it in a little bit more informal, you can say uh, "tu" or "tum." Okay. If you want to write it formally, you can say "agar aap padhenge." अगर आप पढ़ेंगे तो आप पास होंगे ओके अगर आप पढ़ेंगे तो आप पास होंगे तो इज काइंड ऑफ ऑप्शनल सो इवन इफ यू डोंट यूज इट इट्स बेसिकली इम्प्लाइड दैट यू नो दैट इट इज कंडीशनल अपॉन द फर्स्ट इवेंट सो यू कैन से अगर आप पढ़ेंगे आप पास होंगे राइट सो दैट्स आल्सो करेक्ट Um, so now let's look at the same sentence in the in the Devanagari script. So you will say "agar aap padhenge." Agar aap padhenge, to aap. And I'm just using this past. Just in English, pass only. 
अगर आप पढ़ेंगे तो आप पास होंगे ओके गुड सो आई होप दिस एग्जांपल मेक सेंस लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जांपल सो दैट इट्स यू नो क्लैरिटी इज गुड थ्रू आउट लेट्स टेक अनदर वन एंड दिस विल बी अ लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट um if if you if you come then i will come as well so think about like you are having a conversation conversation with your friend and you guys are planning to go for a concert right and uh, you know your friend is telling you that if you you know if you come for that event i will come as well okay um again one is a uh, conditional upon the other one so um you can use the same template uh, agar and then to and then you can fill in the blank write this thing in future indefinite and then write this thing in future indefinite in hindi okay uh, take it as an exercise uh, i'm going to just walk around to see if there are any questions on facebook live okay perfect good participation on facebook live so i'm happy about that um so um as i always mention like you know break it down break down the sentence so this is a big sentence you know if you are learning new hindi quite new when you know if the this sentence is given to you so you don't have to panic you just have to see the structure of the sentence if this is written in if and then manner that means it's a conditional sentence and you will be using agar and to okay if you come you know it's in english it's present indefinite but as i mentioned you have to write in hindi in the future indefinite form right uh, to come is ana that's a verb in hindi uh, right ana okay uh, so what we will say um, in in future indefinite uh, you know you will be saying agar aap up you is up okay and to come is ana but in future indefinite it will be agar aap aayenge agar aap aayenge then i will come as well okay i is main so now because i have as well as well he, here as well so main bhi aunga okay so i'm going to write it again to make sure it is clear okay so the let me rewrite the sentence agar agar aap aayenge to is optional so you can say main bhi aunga okay and i'll write it in devnagari and if any part is not clear let me know uh, i'll go over it one more time okay uh, but the prerequisite requisite in my mind is the future indefinite that you should have a clear understanding of future indefinite okay agar and then up and then you will say अगर आप आएंगे तो मैं भी आऊंगा okay for those of you who are new who you know if you don't know devnagari script that's completely fine you don't have to worry about it you just focus on 
Roman Agni. Okay, so I hope this this you know the structure is very clear to you. Um, I'm gonna keep it. You know, there are many ways to write conditional sentences, but you know, uh, for the purpose of this class, all the sentences will be written in this manner. So that way, as long as you know the verb, you should be able to. If you know the verbs and if you know the uh, how how the verb conjugation work in future future indefinite, you should be able to write it down. Okay. Um, so let's go to the next section of the class, which is the the vocabulary part. Okay. Give me one minute. So uh, in this section, we will learn about Hindi vocabulary. And again, for those of you who are already familiar with it, use it as a as an exercise. Okay. Uh, so the first set of vocabulary, I have, you know, some of them are noun and some of them are verbs. Okay. So the first set of vocabulary is thief. Okay. What is thief in Hindi? You can write it down for those of you who are familiar. And Pay close attention to the vocabulary uh, because the next segment is a story, and you will you see the use of all these words in the story. So you have to uh, not only write it but try to memorize it. I know time is a critical part, so use while you are in the class, use this to to memorize these you know uh, words. Okay. Second one is theft. Okay. Um, Third one is suddenly, and the fourth one is hard work. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time. As I mentioned, I go through the comments on Facebook Live as well. So please uh, participate so I can review and make sure your understanding is correct. OK. Um, so the first one is the uh, most of you pointed out. It's chore, which is correct. Chore. OK, repeat after me, chore. Okay. And the way you write it is like you will have a chair with O and then the chore. OK. Uh, Second one is theft. Similar, chori. The act of, you know, uh, you know, basically this is the act, right? So theft is chori. So act of stealing something. Cho ra but e. Okay, so it's basically you added e on this one. So and that translates into the matra chori. Okay. Uh, next one is suddenly. Uh, often used in you know in the when you're reading the newspaper uh, or stories, right? So you will see suddenly. Uh, suddenly is some of you pointed that out. Achanak. <clears throat> Achanak. A, sh with a, na and k. Okay. Suddenly is achanak. Okay. And the, the last one is uh, hard work. Hard work is mehnat. Mehnat. Read it. Mehnat. One word. So you will say ma with a, ha, na, and the mehnat. Okay. Um, don't worry if you don't know the Devanagari. This is only for people who are familiar with the, the script. Okay. So uh, repeat after me. Thief is a chore. Theft, it's chori. Suddenly is a chanak. And hard work is mehnat. Okay? Mehnat. Okay? So now uh, in the second section, there will be several verbs. Some of the verbs you have done it in the past, some we have not. Okay? So to catch someone okay to catch someone okay um another verb is to call 
okay for example john is calling sarah okay to call uh third one is to apologize and uh, fourth one is uh to get success okay i think most of you should be familiar with probably the first one and the third one or first three fourth one i don't know if you've done it but still i want to give you as an exercise think about it if you already know any of them okay and you can attempt it before i start writing the the hindi um in the of all of them okay um so the first one you know um to catch someone in hindi okay it's akadana okay um it's to catch someone or something even something is fine as well okay um for example um i can say um main cup pakadta hu okay that i you know get hold of it okay and i pakadra is the infinitive form but when i say i you know uh, hold the cup i'm saying it in the uh, present indefinite form so the conjugation is pakadna becomes pakadta because i'm saying it for myself right main pakadta hu um okay um pakadna the next one uh, to call to call is bulana bula na um don't confuse this with bolna bolna is to speak uh when you call someone bulana okay so it will be b with u l bulana uh, for example i'm calling my son okay main apne bacche ko bulata hu okay um i'm calling you for example main aapko bulata hu okay bulana third one to apologize i think we've done it before uh it's basically maafi mangna um mangna means you know to ask for something it's often used in india or hindi speaking country as like you know if you're um uh basically to asking for something like you know um it can be referred as begging as well uh, but you know or pleading um so maafi mangna maafi you know it's basically you know um to saying sorry or you know so but basically i'm using it as a verb here all of them can be used as you know in different forms as well but um because it's used in the in the in the story as a verb i'm trying to write all of them as a verb okay so it will be ma fi mangna okay uh, like i mentioned uh, you know mangna is to ask for something okay for example i can say ma आप से पेन मांगता हूं ओके और बोरोइंग एज वेल यू कैन से इट एज वेल इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ बोरोइंग मैं आपसे लेट्स से इफ आई एम आस्किंग फॉर मनी फ्रॉम यू मैं आपसे पैसे मांगता हूं ओके नाउ टू गेट सक्सेस टू गेट सक्सेस इज सफल होना सफल होना पे अटेंशन टू दिस वन ओके सफल सफल इज सक्सेस सक्सेस इज ऑल्सो सेड ए सफलता सफल होना ओके सो रिपीट आफ्टर मी ऑल ऑफ देम एंड प्लीज राइट इट डाउन टू कैच समवन और समथिंग इज पकड़ना फर्स्ट वन टू कॉल यू नो समवन बुलाना बुलाना टू अपोलोजाइज माफी मांगना to get success is safal hona
okay um so as i mentioned you know usually the 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 vocabulary varies between 8 to 10 so so far we have done about 7 we have three more okay and then we'll get to the the story part so the so the next three i have is to understand i think most of you will should know this one to understand um next one is to make someone understand to make someone understand either that or to explain both of them are same okay and the third one is basically so i think okay the third one is to remain happy Okay, uh, I think the first one, I think you should be able to, most of you probably remember. So give it a try. If not, I'm going to, uh, you know. Okay. So Facebook is giving me this notification to basically tell your audience to share it and uh, let them know you appreciate it. So, of course, I will appreciate if you guys share it. <laughs> All right. To understand is um, Samajna, as some of you really pointed out. Samajna. Okay, Samajna. Um, Think about it interestingly, you know, in English, when somebody's telling you something, or oh, this and this and this, and you say, Oh, yeah, I understand, I understand. You can really say in Hindi, ha, main samajhta hu, main samajhta hu, ya fir, main samajhti hu. Okay, if you're a, a female, you can say, main samajhti hu. Okay, so it will be samajna, sa, ma, ja, and then na, samajna. Okay, um, next one, uh, to make someone understand or to explain. So if you remember the pattern, you know, um, if, you, if you remember the pattern, right, I mean, it's basically uh, Tarana is to swim, Tarana Here you are doing it yourself, you are understanding it. And in this other case, you are making someone understand it, so they understand, okay? Sam jata. That I make you understand. Main aapko samjata hun. Okay? Um, to explain is also the same thing. You know, that you are explaining something to someone. To remain happy is khush. Okay, so you have a ka with u, sh, rehna, khush rehna. Okay, khush rehna. Okay, so just to repeat, to understand is samajna, to make someone understand is, uh, I think, samjana uh, in the infinitive form. To Remain happy is khush rehna. Okay, so I hope uh, it makes sense, uh, and you hopefully you remember all the all the verbs that you've done and the vocabulary words you've done so far. Uh, now comes the interesting part where you have to really <laughs> put a lot of focus, right? Uh, so we'll do a story now. Uh, so this the third segment is the storytelling. Uh, the story is of a, a thief and John, and how John, you know, uh, you know, helped the thief, uh, you know, get out of the bad bad habits, okay, and kind of gave him some uh, moral lessons, right? So we'll 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 discuss about that, okay? 
So in Hindi, you will say John or Chor ki kahani. Kahani is story. Okay. Uh, Chor ki kahani, story of a thief. Okay. So we'll we'll go over that storytelling. So because I need the complete whiteboard, I'm gonna erase everything here. Okay. And uh, for those of you who are new to the class, uh, in the next 15 minutes, um, I will try to read the story completely in Hindi. Okay. Uh, your target is to pay attention to the the way I'm speaking in you know Hindi. Uh, if you don't understand some words, that's completely fine. Uh, you can underline those. Uh, you can also ask those questions with your friends on Facebook Live or you know on the Google Hangout. Um, it's a difficult story, so you may not understand, you know, some parts of it. But the objective is to understand the story in overall, okay? And uh, take help from the sentences above and below to get a sense of it, okay? Um, and after the end of it, I'm gonna we're gonna go over each line by line, okay? So let's start with that. यह कहानी यह कहानी एक चोर की है यह कहानी एक चोर की है वह एक दिन चोरी करने जा रहा था वह एक दिन चोरी करने जा रहा था अचानक अचानक जॉन ने उसे उसे पकड़ लिया अचानक जॉन ने उसे पकड़ लिया जॉन अगर तुम अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे जॉन सेम अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे तो मैं तो मैं पुलिस बुला होगा ओके जॉन इट सेइंग अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे तो मैं पुलिस बुलाऊंगा चोर ने माफी मांगी ओके okay? चोर ने माफी मांगी ओके okay? चोर ने माफी मांगी जॉन ने चोर को समझाया जॉन ने चोर को समझाया अगर तुम चोरी करोगे तुम 
जेल जाओगे अगर तुम चोरी करोगे तुम जेल जाओगे अगर तुम मेहनत करोगे अगर तुम मेहनत करोगे तुम सफल होगे ओके okay? अगर तुम मेहनत करोगे तुम सफल होगे अगर तुम सफल होगे तुम खुश रहोगे ओके okay? अगर तुम खुश रहोगे तुम अच्छे इंसान बनोगे ओके सो दैट वॉज आर स्टोरी टेलिंग एंड आई कैन टेल यू आई कैन टेल यू इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट स्टोरी ओके यू कैन से there were several sentences written in the if and then and, and manner conditional manner okay so let's read the story slowly and we'll read it fast yah kahani ek chor ki hai vah ek din chori karne ja raha tha achanak john ne use pakad liya john चोर से अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे तो मैं पुलिस बुलाऊंगा चोर ने माफी मांगी जॉन ने चोर को समझाया अगर तुम चोरी करोगे तुम जेल जाओगे अगर तुम मेहनत करोगे तुम सफल होगे अगर तुम सफल होगे तुम खुश रहोगे अगर तुम खुश रहोगे तुम अच्छे इंसान बनोगे लेट मी जस्ट मेक श्योर इफ देर आर एनी कॉमेंट्स ऑन द ऑन द फेसबुक लाइव आई थिंक देर ओनली वन आई सी वन कॉमेंट इफ अ फीमेल इज सेइंग आई अंडरस्टैंड मैं समझती हूं यू कैन से मैं समझी but that would be i understood okay so uh let's go back to the story uh, this time i'll read the story a little fast like the way you will often hear uh, native speakers speaking hindi very fast right and sometimes you uh, lose the the meaning so i'll read it fast so you get a habit of you know hearing it quickly okay in a faster pace yah kahani ek chor ki hai वह एक दिन चोरी करने जा रहा था अचानक जॉन ने उसे पकड़ लिया जॉन अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे तो मैं पुलिस बुलाऊंगा चोर ने माफी मांगी जॉन ने चोर को समझाया अगर तुम चोरी करोगे तो तुम जेल जाओगे अगर तुम मेहनत करोगे तो तुम सफल होगे अगर तुम सफल होगे तो तुम खुश रहोगे और अगर तुम खुश रहोगे तो तुम अच्छे इंसान बनोगे ओके लेट्स गो वन बाय वन इन आर इन स्टूडेंट पैनल एंड मेक श्योर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज करेक्ट सो एज ऑल ऑफ यूर फैमिलियर विद द फॉर्मेट आई एम गोन अनम्यूट यू देर आर टेन सेंटेंसेस सो आई एम गोन आस्क ईच ऑफ यू टू uh take three sentences and dissect this dissect them and tell us um what they mean okay so let's start with um 
Um, Sandhya, you want to go first? You can unmute yourself. Yeah, okay. So start with the first three sentences. ये कहानी एक चोर की है वो एक दिन चोरी करने जा रहा था अचानक ने उसे पकड़ ली, लिया ओके दिस स्टोरी इज अबाउट अ थीफ ओके वन डे ही वेंट टू नो नो with he went to make Sorry. i don't know in english actually <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine you can say it doesn't have to be you can say it in french <laughs> okay he he went to i guess to, to make something. sure <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> fine he went okay. to steal something let's say oh steal that's what i was looking for okay suddenly uh john uh uh caught him okay perfect So suddenly John caught him. Thanks so much, Sandhya. So now we will go to Anyas. Anyas, these three sentences you can read them. Yeah. And tell us what you think about them. Okay. John, अगर तुम यहाँ से नहीं जाओगे, तो मैं पुलिस बुलाऊंगा. चोर ने माफी मांगी. जॉन ने चोर को समझाया Hmm? I can't hear you. No, no, go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, I will call the police. So I will call Perfect. the police. If you don't go okay. with me, I will call the police. No, no. So he's saying, "Agar tum yaha yaha se is from here." If you don't go there, uh, yaha ah. is here. Yaha is there. Yeah. So if you don't go from here, yaha se. ओके यहां से अगर तुम इफ यू सेइंग अगर तुम नहीं जाओगे इफ यू डोंट लीव ओके अगर तुम यहां से नहीं जाओगे इफ यू डोंट लीव फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम दैट स्पॉट ओके बट योर सेंटेंस इज करेक्ट योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज करेक्ट दैट इफ द इफ द थीफ डजंट लीव जॉन इज गोइंग टू कॉल द पुलिस कीप गोइंग पुलिस चोर ने माफी मांगी अह The 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 thief uh, apologized. Very good. John ne choko samat samjaya. John understood the thief. No. No, no. To some some. Choko samat na. What is not is to understand some. What did he understood? To to make someone understand is samjana. Okay, for example, if my kid is missing. Okay, okay. So John, like, explain also, no? Explain, or you know, he's teaching something, right? Or to kind of like make someone understand that this is not a good thing. Samjhana, okay. So for example, okay. if John is running around. So John, me, make the thief understood. And yeah, understand. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now we'll go to Liz. You want to unmute yourself, Liz? I still cannot hear you. You have to unmute. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Yep. Next two sentences. Agar tum chori karungi, tum jail jayungi. Agar tum mehnat karungi, tum safa hogi. If you steal, then you will go to jail. Mm, very good. <laughs> If you work hard, then you will get success. Very good. Awesome. Right. Sarah, 
you, I know it's the first time for you, so I kept you toward the end, so you can you will get to understand everyone. Okay. Next two sentences, if you can do it, if you feel comfortable. If not, I will do it for you. Read it. Yeah, I, I cannot hear you. You are muted right now. You have to unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Perfect. Okay, sorry. Um, agar tum safal hoge, tum kush rahoge. If you get success, you will be happy. Very good. Kush rahoge, tum tapanoge. No, no. And I don't know. Read it one more time. Agar. Hmm. Agar tum kush rahoge. Hmm. Ache insa tum insa insan ba bahoge banoge insan bahoge bano b a n o g e banoge insan banoge insan is human uh, banana is to become right? to, to make something right so tum ache insan so you will become a, a good human being okay Okay, so first one is correct. Second one is correct till here. This one, I think you didn't know about insan. So it's human being. And uh, the verb is banana. Ban banana is to make something. Banana is to become something, right? So uh, the future indefinite of banana would be a bano game in this case, because it's you're talking about tom. Okay, so great job, everyone. Uh, you know, I hope uh, it was clear for folks who are watching uh, live on Facebook as well. Uh, you know that how we kind of took one story, uh, divided into several segments, and you can see that there were several usage of the conditional uh, sentences in this story. Okay, so for those of you who, who are having hard time hearing, I'm gonna quickly translate it. Yeh kahani ek chor ki hai. This story is of a thief. Wah ek din chori karne ja raha tha. One day he was going to steal, you know, he was going out to steal something. Achanak John ne use pakardia. Suddenly John saw him and, uh, you know, caught him. John, um, tum ya, agar tum yaha se nahi jaoge, to main police bulaunga. If you don't leave from here, uh, I will call the police. John ne mafi maagi. Chor ne mafi maagi. The thief apologized. Uh, John ne chor ko samjhaya. Um, John explained it to the thief that it's not a good thing, basically. Um, the interesting thing that I like that all of you, you know, there's a use of ne, right? So both of, both the sentences are written in past indefinite, and you guys did a pretty good job of understanding it. That how you know it's mafi mangna the verb, but because it's future indefinite, uh, it and because thief is a singular name, it got converted into mafi mangi. And also samjhana it's to understand, but because it's written in there's a use of ne and you know some samjhana is again a, a transitive verb. But even though you didn't know about it explicitly whether it's a transitive verb or not, you looked at the entire sentence that that you know John, uh, you know did something right. So John explained it to the thief. So that's why it's John ne ko sam samjhana becomes samjhaya. Agar tum chori karoge, tum jail jaoge. If you steal, uh, you will go to jail. Agar tum mehnat karoge, tum safar hoge. If you work hard, you will get success. Um, agar tum safar hoge, to tum khush rahoge. If you get success, you will remain happy. Okay? Uh, or you will get happy. Agar tum khush rahoge, tum achhe insan manoge. That if you, if you remain happy or if you are happy, uh, you will become a, a, a good human being. Okay, so that was the, the story uh, for folks who are watching live on, you know, um, uh, Facebook. Um, you know, the last section is for the folks who join the class, you know, on, on Google Hangout, where they get to kind of like say something in Hindi uh, for some of the concepts that we discuss. So I'm going to stop the the live broadcast on Facebook. Um, so thanks for joining in. Um, I'm going to...
quickly see if there is any questions here. Uh, feel free to you know send me your questions. Um, so give me one minute. So now I think the last section is for all of us here. Um, you can unmute yourself and we'll go just around the room uh, one by one. Uh, we can start with Anya's. Um, Anya's simple simple task. You can make two conditional sentences using if and then, other and to. Okay. Any two sentences. Agar tum gaungi to me na chongi. Very good. Agar tum gaoge then to me na you know to me na chongi. If you sing then I'll dance. Pretty good. Another. Say two. Yeah. Okay, yeah. egg more. Um, agar ap mera ghar ka saaf karonge, to main khush rehongi. Very good, right? Agar tum ghar saaf karoge, to main khush you, you are not saying it to your husband, right? Yeah, he's right here. He doesn't understand Hindi too well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anis. Say hi to him. <laughs> So, uh, Sandhya, you want to go next? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, agar tum TV dekhoge, to me uh, khana banongi. <laughs> Another one? One more, yeah. Okay. Uh, Uh, agar tum khana nahi banaoge to hum restaurant mein jayenge very good agar tum khana nahi banaoge to hum restaurant mein jayenge thank you <laughs> right so liz you want to go next sure sure me so soingi soingi Start with other, right? Uh, if uh, agar me soenge songi to uh, to tan lag rahi nahi hai. Say say that one more time. So you want to say if I sleep, I will not feel cold, right? Oh, I will not feel tired. I got I, tired wrong. Okay, okay. So say it one more time. Agar me if I sleep, or, if I sleep. What is the word for tired? Thakna. Thakna. I got it wrong. Yeah. Sorry. So, no, no worries. So break it down. If I will sleep, so other me soongi. Soongi. To thakna nahi. So the second part is a bit difficult because it will be written in Hindi as mujhe thakan nahi rahegi that I will not feel tired. So second one is a bit tricky. Not a, your fault, but you picked up a very complex sentence. Um, so if I sleep, um, the simple way would be um, if I sleep, um, I will rather than a negative sentence, write it in an affirmative form. Um, uh. So let me say, how will how else will you say? I will feel relaxed. I will feel awake. Awake, uh, very complex. So, um, so let's say how, how you will say I will feel, uh, you know, relaxed. Okay. So this is a okay. feel, feeling in 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 Hindi would be that you know to you that feeling will will come. Uh, right? um, so so it will be. It's not going to be me. It's going to be muchko. That to me, this you know you will feel relaxed. Muchko, um, you know, relaxed lagega. Okay, so let me repeat that again. Agar mein songi, either you can say mujhe thakan, thakan is tiredness, nahi lagegi. Lagegi is feeling, like lagna is to feel. Lagna. Mm -hmm. I feel in future indefinite, it will be lagegi. Okay. Uh, second one would be if I sleep, agar mein songi, uh, mujko relax lagega, ya mujko aram milega. I think that would be the easiest one. Mujko, sure, sure. Mujko aram milega. 
आराम इज रेस्ट ओके अच्छा यू वांट ट्राई वन मोर सिंपल वन ट्राई दिस वन इफ मे या गो हेड अगर पानी पियोगी तो मुझे पियाजन नहीं लगेगी वेरी गुड लगेगी या सो इफ आई ड्रिंक वाटर आई विल नॉट फील थर्स्टी परफेक्ट अगर मैं पानी पियूंगी मुझे प्यास नहीं लगेगी परफेक्ट सारा अच्छा सारा यू हैव टू अनम्यूट Perfect. Yes, I can hear you. Um, agar tum bahut padunga, isme safal hoge. Very good. Agar tum bahut padoge, tum safal hoge. Okay, padoge. Hmm. Next one. And agar tum vegetables, well, I'll change the verb. Vegetables, ka, khaoge. Khaoge. Mm -hmm. tum healthy If you eat vegetables, you will remain healthy. So um, all good. Um, I'll stop the broadcast. Um,